Alright. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Spidecrest. Oh, Spidecrest, you, you beautiful bastard. Alright, uh, let's see. None of this really helps me, but we'll just... Oh, do we get a red loot space? Oh, hell yeah. I love red loot spaces. One's immediate death. One's immediate death. I got immediate death! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Except I didn't die. Just kidding! Yay! Oh my god. Oh my god, man. God, uh, I was just, I accidentally, I uh, was going to uh, type in my passcode as the uh, thumb scanner, honestly, I just need to turn that off, honestly, on my phone, like, it, it, it works, but it, yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes, most of the time it doesn't, um, I accidentally uh, ended up opening Reddit, and just like, where are all the trash ships in Star Citizen, I feel like, this game needs some objectively bad ships, trashy ones brought from Star Citizen equivalent of Craigslist or something, um, something like that. And you know, actually, that is a very good point. Um, that is a very good point. I think, and I hope, uh, I think they, they do have a wear and tear system. Um, and hopefully at some point it'll become a thing of like, you know, you can't, you're not always guaranteed ship repairs and sometimes they can actually get pretty expensive hopefully um and you know you're not always going to be in a uh you're not always going to be in the uh position that like you can get everything repaired maybe um that would help um that would help certainly um because i feel like probably <sighs> I don't know. We'll probably get into situations where it's it's easy enough to make money that's not going to be like a... Oh. You know, I, I literally can't afford to, you know, repair my ship. That probably isn't going to happen too often. I would imagine, but... Yeah, we'll see. Um... Uh, but but also speaking of Star Citizen. Oh, I was going to say that's an even better segue into Star Citizen. I, I mean... <clears throat> Actually, let me... Hold on, let me do my classical... Uh, I don't know why I call it cheating the system, but I guess it is kind of cheating the system. <laughs> uh, let's see, have they updated the website? No! Oh my god, okay. I Okay, so they're, uh, so today they're supposed to update a thing with the lore. I think what, it's supposed to be like a, a, a uh, like a show. Uh, what is it? This Tuesday, the narrative team will publish a clean shot broadcast in which Craig Burton gives his thoughts on this year's expo, including his support for the Argo Cargo's surprising best in show victory. Um, nice. But yeah, that hasn't happened yet, and it's 4.42. Also, oh god, okay. Doesn't really matter too much, but there is there is a decent amount of um, recording lag, I guess, input. Well, I mean, it's, 
I don't want to say input lag. A uh, capture card lag. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that that thing hasn't uh, shown up yet. Uh, the bigger, I don't know, the bigger thing, and I mean, I don't think this is a, a thing to cause concern, okay? I don't think this is something that, um, you know, we should be, uh, we should be, uh, we as the community should be uh, getting super in a tizzy about. I think this is just one bad moderation mistake, but like... Uh, a guy, uh, oh, I can't remember his name. It doesn't really matter too much. He's, is a content creator, um, for what that's worth. Um, but even if he wasn't, it wouldn't matter. Um, he, uh, he asked a very legitimate question, put it on, in general chat, in, uh, in the, uh, on Spectrum, on the site, on, you know, their bespoke site, um, and on their bespoke forum, you know, site. Uh, and he was like, where is the hex code color picker thing? Which is, as it would imply, like, you know, you can, you know, eventually we'll be able to, like, or supposedly, eventually we'll be able to, you know, choose all of the colors for our ships and all that good stuff. Uh, and, you know, be able to have it as a hex code so that we can share it for, amongst orgs. Um... Now, he just, you know, wanted, you know, he just asked, hey, how's this going? Is, do we have an update on this? Um, it was in general chat, uh, and then they moved it to fan creation, which, um, you know, okay. Okay, so it's, so that shouldn't be in general chat. Okay. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it's kind of a tough thing because it's not like, you know, I mean... He, he asked a dev a question. I mean, it's not like there's a question. There's not like a, there's not a, there's not a place to put, um, the, uh, the ask a, you know, there's not a place on the forum to ask a dev a question. There's not a place. Somebody wants to ask a dev a question, d cannot ask a dev a question in a, uh, in a designated spot, um, asking a dev that, that, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. It's not like there is an ask a dev section and there can't be one for obvious reasons. Um, so my, my biggest takeaway, um, oh, and then also they banned his account, um, after he, uh, I guess, and I mean, this is definitely a thing of overreacting. Like he described it as the uh, fan creation graveyard in some uh, uh, in some cross posts on like uh, Reddit, Twitter. I maybe I'm not sure. I don't know, but uh, definitely Reddit though. Um, and it's like, like yeah, like <laughs> I mean, like describing it as the. Um, fan creation graveyard okay yeah like i mean that doesn't look good but that's not something to like ban somebody for s something i would say um and i don't think that's the official re reason given but like you know and uh, but again my my biggest problem with this oh fuck you <laughs> uh but yeah, my biggest problem is that they put it in fan creations when he legitimately asked a dev a question. It should have been put in the ask a dev section, and they didn't. And, like, so, yeah, that's just, that's the most ridiculous thing. I d again, I don't, I don't think this is, like, them trying to cover up something. I think it's just a bad bit of moderation, and uh, I hope that is the case.